So we've done some prison tonight, and now we're going to move on to Punisher. So this list is probably as aggressive as Punisher gets nowadays. It is sporting 20 lands, eight ritual effects, and four chancellors. Now, Chancellor, unlike Simeon's Spirit Guide, can only be used on turn number one, providing green mana, which is very nice. And that's it. So, what do we do with that one mana at the very beginning of the game? Well, we try to use it on a ritual, maybe get a fast Magus, a fast Chalice, or we hit all these three drops. We have Bone Crushers, Rabble Masters, Legion War Bosses, and Season Pyromancers. We're basically trying to make it so that we overwhelm our opponents. Now, if we get one of these, but we're not getting through, or we're only creating a token and it's dying, something like that, we have Torbrand to boost them up so they do more damage, or, and this one we've tried a few times, we've got the God of the Forge here. He's got his big hammer. And so this one's kind of interesting because when things enter the battlefield under our control, we deal two damage to each opponent. It doesn't target, which is nice. And that turns every Rabble Master or Legion War Boss token into two damage plus the attack. It also turns Season Pyromancer tokens into two damage each as they enter the battlefield. So this will be interesting. Sideboard's a bunch of four ofs plus three ofs here in the Molten Rain category. Interested to see how those work. I do like a Chain Whirler here with Torbrand that kind of becomes a little bit of a Wrath effect. Things I'm worried about here is prowess. I'm worried about a lot of interaction for our creatures. I'm worried about board wipes. I'm worried about having big creatures to get through. No ley lines? No, Mr. Jangles didn't have any ley lines. Do I still play a Luca list? I, I play kind of anything that I've put up. We just haven't gotten back around to we haven't gotten back around to uh, Luca in a while. But this is the list. It's gonna be fast, gonna be aggressive. Let's, let's just play. I I'm curious to see how it works. I'm not maybe totally convinced, but users in our Discord are having good success with it. And so we'll trust it. Let's play some magic match one here. Let's be fast. Super fast, right? Super fast. We have kind of established this Punisher category. Now this one doesn't have Eidolons. To me, Punisher sometimes has that incidental damage and the incidental damage is super important because at some point during the progression of the game, they can't play too many more spells or they'll lose too much life. We'll see if we need that. Let's play some magic. Eidolon is difficult as well with the Chancellor kind of build. And by the way, one thing this list can do is turn one Blood Moons. Now, do we keep this for the turn one Blood Moon or turn one Chalice on one? Hmm. Oh, you bet we do. Let's keep. After all, who shows Chancellor in Blood Moons? All right, burn. <laughs> chalice on one, much more important. Playing a chalice makes you a cool person. Oh my gosh, look at all these lands. Help. All right, well, we get to put a chalice on one and follow that up with the creatures galore. Searing Blaze is a thing that burn can play. This is going to be a difficult matchup, I would foresee. We'll see how everything goes. Maybe they only have the one lander. Pyretic Ritual off the top. If they have the one lander, I think I run Seize a Rabble Master out. They skewer me. Ow. All right, let's uh, Rabble Master. <laughs> There's nothing else I want to do other than smash my opponent's face in. In for one. We'll be playing Magus next here to create a blocker. We'll probably take this too. I could block. Oh, there's a Perforos. Oh, hold up. Hold up. Do we block now? Hmm. All 
Lightning League. All right, all right, Mr. Jangles. Mr. Jangles, would you block here? I kind of want to. With this revealed, I can play this. This is pretty good after, though. What do you know? All right, I'm blocking. We're at 13. I'm afraid of a skewer just picking this off as well. So we can just do the god of the forge here. And, uh, well, yeah, let's, let's attack for one. There's no haste coming. Maybe not, because they're stuck on one. They're stuck on one with the chalice on one. Here comes the land. Here comes the land. Helix, Boros Charm, Searing Blaze. Opponent does nothing. Oh. Oh. Uh, this God of the Fords is indestructible. Devotion up to five, don't worry about that. Whenever a e uh, creature ETBs under my control, two damage to opponents, and does have a way to pump creatures. Kind of tempted to do a Magus here. Kind of tempted to do a Magus here. This is this is four damage though. I'm gonna do a Magus to shut off the white here briefly. This does two. We swing for one, and then if they have to like bolt or do something. They got to go after this Magus here instead. And then War Boss here will be pretty good. They don't do anything with their white mana, so a little surprise. Maybe a Land Searing Blaze here. Maybe, maybe, maybe just nothing. All right, War Boss, let's do four. Swing with the team. Uh, yes. More of this. <laughs> Down to four, my opponent goes. Chalice on one, uh, wrecking them. Good to have the chalice out quick here. I like this. <laughs> I like this. Do you not like this? I like this. I like this. Big question on what we do, though. Chain Roller is nice as a first striking creature. We have already Bone Crusher Giants. A Braids are si kind of nice because they're removal. Figure out the sideboard? Oof. I don't know. I don't know what it is. At this point, I just put four bolts in here and start just laughing at opponents when you take the Chalice out. <laughs> but you need artifact removal too. Let's, let's be real. Um, one god of the forge out here, potentially. I mean, I guess I have the Shatter Skulls. I think Valakuts are a little... Man, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut Valakut for, for three of Braids here. Ooh. Yes, I just did that. Let's do it. Let's do it. A little bit dangerous that we don't have, like, a proper Magus of the Moon. Um... Kind of thing going on with a blood moon, but hey, can't always have it. All right, not super aggressive hand, but I got a removal, got some Maguses, got some some Legion War bosses here. This seems reasonably powerful. Swift Spear attacked me for one after a fetch shock from my opponent. Top of the library, let's go. Extra ritual, so we're going to be able to play Magus plus Magus or Magus plus War Boss, a braid, maybe then followed with these. On attacks for one again, down to 18. We have a land that hurts them. They play a core Firewalker. Nice, nice. All right, let's go ahead and ritual out. A Magus of the Moon to prevent a future Core Firewalker and also Boris Charm and <clears throat> Boris Charm and a excuse me Helix. 
We do have Bone Crusher Giants. This is probably gonna die. Bolt. We don't have a lot of life gain. Don't have like Dragon's Claws or other things like that. Bolts, Goblin Guides, Attacks for six, puts us to 12. We don't have any Wrath effects either. God of the Forge on top. Gonna pass the turn with an Abrade open, but that's really not where we wanna be. Taking four, going to eight here, killing just Swiss Spear. Top is a Chancellor, which is really bad to draw. We'll attempt to abrade the Swiss Spear here, but two bolts and we're dead. Chancellor is definitely not what we want to draw. Perfect example of where the Chancellor not being in the opening hands, not good. We could be learning something though from this first opening hand that we definitely needed something. Another core Firewalker, I don't have answers to these. We'll go ahead and concede. Two turn clock with just those. So we need to be faster out of the gate. Yeah, we have Kozlik the Return in our big red list we just played. <laughs> Not so much here. Let's do... hmm. I think I'm going to submit. I think we're on the play. Just gotta be faster, got those chalices. Let's make it happen. All right, so here's a good example of if you're not able to use the Chancellor immediately, uh, then it's just right now a Bone Crusher Giant. So I'm gonna mulligan this. We're gonna look for something that we can do on turn one. All right, it's not a turn one, but it is a turn two chalice. Worked out well for us last time. Make it, make it happen. Is Donnie Boy here? I don't know. Is Donnie here? Little Donnie. Scalding turn for my opponent. Let's go ahead. And we do need to protect ourselves from bolts on the Magus here. Gemstone Cavern's definitely not what I wanted to draw there. Sacred Foundry. Okay. We don't have a core Firewalker, which is good. Smash to Smithereens or Chalice. Hmm. I'm gonna play Magus over the Season Pyromancer to shut them off white. We're not gonna play the Gemstone Cavern yet. I can now convert a Desperate Ritual into a token here. Land drop from a Sunbaked Canyon. This could be a Searing Blaze. This could be Bolts. This could be a lot of things. Searing Blaze with a Sunbaked Canyon left. Should have tapped these two so they don't have to take damage if they want to play something. Minor misstep. Skewers us 11 to 17 here. We're going to rinse and repeat this because I don't want them to have the white mana here. Once again, just hoping that my opponent doesn't have bolts. Having that chalice taken care of by the smash pretty early on is kind of showing how this is really going to be a struggle here. Skewer, hard cast, the Magus. They definitely want their white mana, you can tell. All right. Well, we don't have much choice here. Rabble Master it is. Go, go, Rabble Master. Running out of gas here against our opponent. They have three cards plus their draw and plenty of mana. A lot of white mana too. I'm expecting Core Firewalkers, Helixes, Boros Charms. We're at 11. Fetching. It's a bit interesting. Yep, lots of, lots of redraws too. Am I sure this is burn? Pretty, pretty confident. Boros Charm. 
<laughs> Eidolon with the Boros Charm. Wow. <laughs> Let's attack. I'm going to offer up the trade here because if they do trade, then I get to play Season Pyromancer. If they don't, 4-5. It's a lot of damage. I'm not going to cast anything. They can put me to 5 here and they have 2 spells. 2 spells puts them to 4 if they attack. Rabble Master could be lethal. Sunbake Canyon number 1 cracked. I'm definitely not taking four to play a season pyromancer and twiddle my thumbs. Down to five we go. Three cards in my opponent's hand. Skewers exist. Don't kill me. Don't do it. Bolt. I'm going to two. It smells like they've got it because otherwise I kill them on the crack back here. They take two to do this next spell. No, it's another skewer. Down to five. Opponent kills us. Down to three. Let's just scare him. Just scare him. Just scare him. <laughs> if I block there, do I get there? If I just attack, they just chump block or they just block. I don't know. Tough to say. Tough to say. Definitely weren't drawing the lands. <laughs> Alright, burn takes us down, but it was a close one. It was a close one. Let's avoid burn. Let's find every other... Let's find all the control players. Right? Let's find tax players. Two dragon's claws in the sideboard could really change that game. It could. It doesn't say it would, but it could. Finding spider? Yeah, we got a finding spider. Find the spooter. Find the spooter? Chain whirler the spooter. Spooter's had a good uh good good month. Well, good last month into this month. Can you say you've had a good month when your month goes over one one from one month to the next? All right, let's do some turn one things to our opponent. We got the draw. Okay. Turn one Magus. Turn two Rabble Master. Let's go. Do I keep both rituals here? Hmm. Opponent kept seven. How scary is a thought sees? I'm gonna get rid of a ritual here. I wanna keep the Valakut Awakening because the third land's probably important. Polluted Delta. Fetching. Incoming thought sees. Help. Watery grave. Into the face of a gemstone caverns. Thought sees. Takes Magus of the Moon or Ritual. This is where the extra Ritual would be probably better because then we could Rabble Master him instead of having the Valakut Awakening to ensure that we'll hit our third land. Magus gone though. Maybe they have an answer for the Rabble Master. Well, we'll find out. Rabble Master in play. Go, 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 goblin tokens. One goblin. Smack. This is kind of nice because I can use this as a redraw with the Shatter Skull. All right, let's see what they have. Fetch land, fetch fatal push. Start smacking for just one. If I get a god of the forge here, I might Valakut first, then Shattering Skull. Two mana, eliminate. Some people play eliminate. Thought scours, us. Okay. Fine by me. <laughs> I 
I will uh, bolt in here for a rabble master. <laughs> Look at the speed. Get speed. Extra rabble master, more tokens. Big rabble master, five, six, seven, eight damage going down to six here. Board has five creatures. Unless they have Bantus, I think we have it. Yeah, that's right. Get that aggro on. Look at this. We get a redraw too. Ah! Ah! And they had to take the Magus because otherwise we had him on the land. Ah! Turn three, ladies and gentlemen. Turn three. Kind of want to bring Molten Rain in on them, but I don't think that's the right play. Uh, Chalice looks good. They kind of looked like a Death Shadow list a little bit. They didn't play anything else, but Thought Scour makes me think that. Could have Gurmag Angler. We did see the Thought Scour, and my opponent's got that kind of thing going on. No Luris. Could bring in a pair of Relics to combat a little bit of that. Kind of like that option over Molten Rains and stuff. Take one God of Forge out, plus... Take out one Valakut Awakening. I know this is like really risky to take this out, but this is a tap land. And I think if I'm gonna be doing anything on turn one, it would be Relic if I miss my Chancellors. And that'll keep a Gurmag Angler at bay briefly while we try to find our three drop arsenal of mega creatures. Mega creatures, so many creatures, all them creatures. How's everyone's Monday, by the way? Happy Monday. Welcome to the week. I have no good news for you. I'm not a time traveler. I don't know what will happen tomorrow. We can hope, though. It'll be a good day. Looks like someone has a case of the Mondays. All right, we have a turn one Rabble Master. If not, we Valakut Awakening. I'm doing it. We're keeping Probability of this getting discarded. Excessively high. Who cares? Chancellor. Let's do it. Let's do it. So, Rabble Master, if not, Valakut Awakening. Turn one, what do you got for us, opponent? <laughs> They're like, but that fatal push. All right, let's go for it. Rabble Master. Incoming Fatal Push. Well, we went straight to beginning combat. We get to smack them for one. Oh. We're doing it. We're doing it. In for one. They did not kill Rabble Master. He takes the ritual and ends up getting another ritual. Fetid... Pools. My opponent does not respect Blood Moon. How dare they? Unbelievable. Please note we took one of these out and we happened to draw the other one. Dangerous card this is. Oh, okay. Basic Island. All makes sense now. We're going to play the Raminaut in. Maybe Valakut Awakening. We'll do that maybe on their turn. And just smack them with Goblins. Petty thefts. Interesting. Okay. We make the token because we were in beginning of combat. We're going to still attack for the pair here. I have an extra ritual. We're going to go ahead and uh, put down the Rabble Master while we have the opportunity. And uh, say go. Go, my friend. <laughs> That's brutal. To be able to replay that Rabble Master there on turn two. It's like turn one, turn two, Rabble Master. Marsh Flats for my opponent. Fetching Watery Grave here. Do you shock? They do. Oh. -ho. Thought Scours me getting rid of a Pyretic. Or no, double. De oh, look at this. Double Desperate Ritual and a Mountain. Thank you. Gonna go straight to combat here once again and attack for all the damage. 
Look at this. We can work on instant speed. What is this? It's unbelievable. Five, six, seven, eight puts my opponent down to five past the turn. We also have an uncountable Ramionot Ruins plus Bone Crusher Giant. We almost have them. We almost have them. Maybe, maybe I'm not going to cast this. This is just, Valakut Awakening is just an afterthought. <laughs> That's just a, just in case. Extra Watery Grave, there's no way they shock that in. They're almost dead. Two mana, Drown in the Locks, the Rabble Master. One mana here. I'm going to Bone Crusher at their end step and swing with the team. Get stomped. Resolves. Oh my gosh. We attack with the goblins and we have the ritual here too. We're going to go for this, aren't we? They're going to fatal push one of these and leave themselves at one? Okay. If they do that, fatal push, we attack, we play the land, we ritual out, and we hit them with the Ramionot Ruin. Whew. Turn four. Nice. That's some aggro. They were probably control. I want to say they could have been a Death Shadow or Gurmag Angler list, but the Thought Scours were kind of hitting us. They had the Drown the Lock as well, so we're just we're just faster. Just faster. Zoom. Who doesn't like to zoom sometimes? Great power zoomies. Exactly, Mad MTG. Exactly. Power aggro, Punisher, Prison, Power, Perforos, Punching. List. Hey, we get to play first. All right. Now, we've learned a few things. We could go with this, with the idea that if I do top deck a land, we're good. But we have no Chancellors, no Rituals, and we are on the play. I think we should try to play to that advantage here and probably Mulligan. Less ban-worthy cards in this list? <laughs> I think we Mulligan this. We got a Perforous God of the Forge as well. That's really far up on the, the curve here. Two Bone Crushers are nice, but we don't know what we're playing against. All right. We have a Chancellor here, but we have Valakut Awakening and lands. We do have three lands if I choose to get rid of, say, Chancellor here, which that's okay. I don't know if I like playing on turn three, but I might not have a choice. Do we go one more? Hmm. Let's go ahead and keep this. Let's get rid of the Chancellor and let's just put the Valakut Awakening in play sideways. We have some rituals and we also got to get rid of the Chancellor. It's the bottom of the list, so it's less likely to draw. Give it a shot. This might confuse them. Who 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 plays this on turn one anyway? Not not Fluffy Wolf 2. You know Bone Crusher Giant is somewhat ban worthy. What? Not in modern. Is Magmatic Channeler or Pyromancer ban worthy? No. Wait. What are we waiting for? Zeho, are we did we miss the bus? I was gonna say, Bone Crusher is nowhere near. That nor is Channeler. Channeler's like one of the. S oh no, oh no! It's, it's burn. I don't want to play burn. Oh my gosh! I'm just gonna have to overwhelm them. We're gonna make so many goblins, and hope that they're on a one lander. Don't play idle on here, please. Stop playing creatures. Stop it. Stop. I'm so afraid that this goblin guide's gonna show a uh a chalice. Season Pyromancer, alright.
I'm gonna do this, see if I can find a chalice. We're gonna get rid of a Legion War Boss and a Legion War Boss, I think. <clears throat> Lavadar is definitely ban worthy, no. Go chicken fry up. Have you been are you new to modern? I, I have to ask. I don't want to show him I have a Magus here. I'm going to just show him I have a million goblins. The only reason I have to ask is because the cards you're throwing out are nowhere near the power level of a lot of other things out there. All right, what are we doing here? Searing Blaze, Season Pyromancer. Am I double blocking the Goblin Guide here and taking two to the face? Goblin Guide reveals. A Bone Crusher, okay. Well, we can stop the bleeding if my opponent just runs into a whole bunch of nonsense here. We'll be okay. I wonder if I fire off now. I'm at six. I'm gonna bone crusher giant this and just let them hit me with two bolts. And if they have the bolt now, it wasn't gonna matter. All right. Maybe I can't. Problem is I don't have any planeswalkers. It's not like I can wait and try to blank searing blaze here for my opponent. They've got a lot of white mana here. The next play is Magus of the Moon. What if foothills here? Our biggest hope is that. They don't have Helix Helix. <laughs> That's funny. Boros charms me. Any spell kills me here. And an Eidolon. That'll do it. All right. We've got to be Burn again. we got to be Burn. Our Braid plan sort of kind of didn't work very well. Let's take all the Purphoros God of the Forge out. It's probably win more in this matchup. We'll bring the Braids in for those. I don't know where you're going with that all, Chicken Fry. It feels like you play a certain list and you're just... Those cards target your list. That's all it sounds like. If that was the case, I would be like upset about like a force of negation being in the meta, but I think it's appropriate for the meta. Just like I could make the arguments for the Simeon Spirit Guide where everyone keeps saying, you know, it's free mana, but it was also card disadvantage. <clears throat> but it just depends on your perspective. What do you think about Quakebringer as a dredge payoff? You have to have a uh, you have to have a giant, right? So you'd have to have another giant in play for it to to matter. All right, we'll keep this hand. Turn one, turn two chalice into potentially turn three, four ish. Looks good. And we'll start with Rami Not Ruins. Resident Man, Man, I think you need another giant to make that worthwhile. Quake. Quakebringer triggers that upkeep, but it needs a giant on the battlefield in order to trigger, I'm pretty sure. Goblin Guide here, help us, help us. Hmm, that didn't help. That didn't help. All right, let's see if a Chalice on one stops our opponent. This has to stop our opponent and they don't have Smash, hopefully. If they do, Burn's gonna kill us again. Uh, quiet, I thought the same thing, and I kind of said something similar, I think, in my, um, review, and then 
then I was sad. All right, my opponent throws a Swift Spear away to the Chalice. Thankfully, they are just testing if Chalice works. It does. Counter. All good, Resident. A lot of us read and read to a portion of a card, and then our brains go, oh, this idea or that idea. And then by the time you come back around and you've built some list, you're like, ah, it doesn't work that way. Rift Bolt suspended for my opponent. And for two, we do miss land drop again. I'm going to pass turn because I'd rather try to get a chalice on two than sitting here with a chalice on one and a chalice on one. Yeah, Brew goes brrrr. Reading the cards is cheating. <laughs> Opponent attacks us for another two here. We find a Legion War Boss. Where are the lands? Obviously, this list plays light on lands. Inspiring Vantage here, giving them white. Skewers us. Legion War Boss will pass turn. Again, it's not making much sense to put another Chalice on one. Follows this up with a Boros Charm, we're at four. Goblin Guides, two. And any spell that is two or greater kills us. Top of the library is a land. We found it. We did it. We need them to have a blank here. It appears they did. All right. Goblin Guide kills us. Unfortunately, we take one if we do Raminaut Ruins. So instead of doing Raminaut Ruins, I'm tempted to do War Boss here. The idea is that if War Boss is here, a Searing Blaze without land doesn't kill us giving us an opportunity to potentially hit a land naturally to then Chalice on two. Season Pyromancer gives us the best chance to draw, but exposes us to a Searing Blaze. Legion War Boss doesn't expose us. What's up, Dylan? How's it going? My opponent Searing Bloods us instead and kills us. All right. <laughs> okay. Would we have hit the land? We would have hit a Pyretic Ritual, would have been the land, and we would have been able to put a Chalice on two and gone from there. So this Goblin blocking here, my opponent blanking one more time, and even if it was a Searing Blaze, doesn't get us, and we would have had the Chalice Lock, then we would have had to avoid Rift Bolt and Skewer. Long road ahead of us, gave ourselves the best chance. Let's go. Last god, it's blue and red, and it does giant things like scry, and, and giants cost less. I don't know what it's called, though, but it's blue and red. It's two mana, and it's a saga. You could probably go scryfall and look up sagas and convert them in a cost of two and find it. Giant saga. Scryfall. Type line, Saga, convert a mana cost to search. Invasion of the Giants. Boom! Look at him, fast clicks. All right, we're one, two against Bodacious Panda. We have a Luris and we have a Chalice in hand. We're gonna keep. No turn one Chalice but we do have nice turn twos and on. Bobble. Bobble, bobble, bobble. Blood Crypt, shocked in. Black mana, thought seats. Bye bye chalice. Bye chalice. There you go. I helped you to the graveyard. Bobble trigger here and we draw. We draw a Ramionaut. All right, so we we have all of our lands here. I got scared for a moment. I hit F6 and this wasn't going into play. Woo! Scary times. Luckily we have Bone Crusher. They know about all of this stuff going on. Jund again. Tarmogoyf. Magus? No Magus. Um, I 
There's currently no instant in the graveyard. That would make this a 4-5. Desperate Ritual getting rid of Legion Shatter's Skull. Gives us the most kind of tokens. Bone Crusher is kind of like a nice potential removal. Oh gosh. Season Pyromancer is okay in, in play because we can chump block and then make more tokens. Tarmogife is so hard for us to kill. Yeah, we're flooding in the list that, that shouldn't be flooding. Oh my gosh, Voxy returns. Voxy returns. I don't even know what to call the Voxy people. We have names for so many people, but I don't think I have names for Voxy people. Thank you so much, Voxy. Here, I'm gonna be a better host this time. Welcome, Voxy. Voxy Posse, that's close. How's it going? Happy Monday. Hope your stream went well. How's your cat? Look at all these sweet emotes. Look at these sweet emotes. Go on, tell them your name. I'm Fluffy Wolf 2. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> but we're family friendly. All right, what am I doing with the chalice? Chalice 1, Chalice 2. <laughs> oh, that's right. You're the Attic Gang. Ace of Souls, what's up? How's it going? We've got several uh, follows coming in. Dozy. Oh, I need to make this bigger. Can't read them all. This tree is big. Prajna? Techline? Dozy? Ace of Souls? TPO? We're deciding between Chalice on 1 and, and 2. Voxy, thank you so much. You have a good evening. Take care. Rest well. I'm sure your folks will be back again on your next stream. <laughs> that's true. That's right. We'll just call them the Attic Gang. That's 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 a that is appropriate for a stream. Ren and Eight. Not sure how I feel about your name. Man, do I put a Chalice on one here? Chalice on one. Just start chump blocking. I mean, it's probably appropriate to do the one. I'm afraid of a K command here as well. Attic Dwellers works for me, Techline. What's up, Andrew? 555550TV. I like the blanket emote. Longtime viewer on YouTube. Love to catch the Twitch stream. Well, thank you so much for viewing on YouTube. Oh gosh, Assassin's Trophy. <laughs> I go get my land. We're playing a uh, Punisher list. We just finished with Red Prison. We're a modern streamer, for those that don't know. We're uh, giving, this, uh, giving this Punisher list a go here. It's, um, it's blazing fast when it happens. We got to defend ourselves against this Lurus. Probably Jun Death Shadow player, though. Trying not to, try not to die here. Let's, uh, let's commit some creatures to the board here. We're not going to worry about using Bone Crusher's Stomp ability here. We're gonna just play it on the battlefield. Just trying to get as much on the battlefield because we've got to we got to defend against this. We have a bolt here for Legion War Boss. That's fine. And we're gonna chump block once again with Elemental. I'm not gonna drop them below 13 because of Death Shadow. Chalice on seven. Got to stop it. <laughs> Still mono red prisoning in a post simian spirit guide world. Some spirit, some 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 heroes don't wear capes. We we try our best. We're gonna chump block here. We're gonna keep ourselves at twenty. Scourge is a problem as well, and this is a good reason to keep ourselves at twenty. What permanent mana ramp is available to Grixes? Nothing anymore, right? Lurus to hand here plus Death Shadow. Oh my gosh, this is the one problem with this list. <laughs> Well, let's um I'll attack. I have a season pyromancer here. I don't expect to block. Let's put some to seven. We can probably just take the eleven here. Hope they don't have team or battle rage. They're gonna play Luris. I'm gonna play lead, uh tokens four, five, six. I'm a point off. Maybe they'll fetch for me. Then I can top deck a way to remove Luris. That doesn't exist in our list. We're too many creatures. Darkest timeline confirmed. 
Do I just take this? I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I have a Shatter Skull that I could get and really scare them. I'll go to nine. Stomp would kill Lurus. That's true, we do have some stomps. Bobble's used here, they do see what we're drawing. We have this sweet green card in our hand. <laughs> Bobble trigger. Oh! <laughs> oh. They don't know what this other card is. I'm going to attack with Bone Crusher. They don't know. They might be dead. They're like, whoa, hold on. It's going to block. They don't block. They die to bolt. They could be afraid of that. Yeah, the green cards are really, really appropriate. Chancellor is... Chancellor's the bud that we all want to join the party. He, he gets it started, and then he sneaks out back and goes and gets a pizza. Exactly. We have multiple reasons we don't like Chancellor. This is a good one. Although Season Pyromancer is a really hot draw now. Makes a lot of tokens. That's not good. Swift Sphere for my opponent after Bobble. Oh no. Please. Please. Leave us alone. Thought Seize. Ha! Take two. Huh. That is the best two damage we've done. <laughs> All right, um, 10, five, six, seven. What if I do this? Just live on the edge here. Show me the team or battle rage. I'm ready to die right here. Ah, I'm at two. I'm not dead yet. Ah, okay. Let's help our opponent out here and use a Ram and Not Ruins just to, just to explain to our opponent that we understand how our cards all work. Top of the library is a <laughs> bobble. Top, pyrotic ritual. All right, <laughs> let's go to game number two. Game number two. Chain whirlers are gonna come in here. I kinda wanna bring the Molten Reigns. Magus is good. Definitely just want Chalice and Chancellor's, Magus's. Perfro seems over the top once again. Torbrand even seems over the top. You know what? Let's do Chain Whirlers. Let's, let's, let's just... We're here to learn some things, right? If you keep playing the list exactly what you think's going to work, you're not going to learn. We're going to take out our top end here, bringing in Chain Whirler. Without Torbrand, this doesn't mean that this does a lot. However, we were in that weird state where we almost had enough the last time. Could be a thing. We have a Braids that could kill a Lurus, but we also have Bone Crusher Giant, so I'm not going to bring in the Abrades here. Molten Rain seems interesting because they do have a lot of non-basics, but we're going to try to hit a Magus of the Moon on turn one. With that, submit. Let's try it. Also, since the Voxy people are probably at least hovering around. Foxy has some sweet emotes. This crab thing's cool. You've got this coffee. I don't drink coffee, but you, you have this emote. You have pizza. I don't even have a pizza emote, and I, like, I learned how to make pizza. Wow, this is, this does everything. Okay, we'll keep. No, I don't drink coffee. Let's see how good a uh, Blood Moon is on turn one, shall we? Then we can get rid of this Chancellor and throw him away. He's done. Do I like tea? Yes, but I also have given up drinking tea. Sadness. Don't bolt this, please. Don't touch. Magus is your bro. Don't touch. Don't touch. He says, hands off. No, don't do this to me. Well. They respected me. It was not a bolt. Another Magus. It's gonna be a tough one. I don't drink teas or coffees because, oh, chalice, because they have caffeine in them. And if you haven't quite figured out, I can be kind of hyper 
in the speed at which I speak? Caffeine plus me is not a good option. Don't thought seize me, please. Why would they thought seize me? They're, they need to take care of this board state. No. Ah. 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 But yeah, I, I, I will say this. I enjoy coffee ice cream. I do enjoy coffee ice cream. I'm gonna play this and attack. Gosh, I'm gonna get blasted by a Death Shadow, aren't I? Are you LDS, Wolf? What's LDS? Long Digits Supreme. That sounds like a pizza. Chamomile, Ace of Sp Souls. Chamomile. My wife has chamomile in her lotion. Every now and then I'm like, can you, she has a spray you can spray on your pillows. I'm like, spray my pillow, please. She, it's a mister or whatever. And I get, I get sleepy. That's God. Thank you so much. We'll take a look at that in a moment. I'm going to go ahead and go for this to do the ritual right now to get season pyromancer tokens. It's kind of awkward to try to do that during their turn because we need the land drop as well. Oh, I, I, I'm not, but we also keep politics and religion out of here too much, but, but I'm not. I got you now. I understand the LDS. Now I'm kind of curious. Anyway, Valakut again. We can block two things. We can take three, go to six. They've got Luris in hand. This is really bad. I guess I'll use Valakut Awakening on their turn. Dylan, you didn't think digits? I do a lot of digital stuff, so digits. All right, my opponent has Luris plus Seal of Fire, which can get rid of a Season Pyromancer. I'm drawing one card here plus another. Opponent attacks for four. We're not going to chump. We'll watch two Scourges show up, and I'm just going to be upset. Down to eight. I need a bolt for eight. Oh gosh, overgrown tomb. Down to six. Oh, my opponent. No fear. Hey, there's that scourge we talked about. Okay. Scourge and Tarmogoy. We're going to Valakut Awakening, draw some 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 hot stuff. This is a draw one for three. I'm really not liking this Chancellor. Mr. Jangles, when you rewatch this later, maybe it's just a luck thing that you went really well and the rest of the prison discord's doing well. Me? Chancellor are like best buds. We gotta hang out together. Blocking three, one, two, three. I have creature, creature plus creature. Lose three creatures, get smashed for lethal. Play this, Lurs played, Seal of Fire kills this. Jump, 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 jump. I don't know what I was looking for. I'm gonna play a Legion War Boss and pass turn with a lot of jump blockers. This is the perfect opportunity where you would go, I want a bridge. Death Shadow blocks here. Land, Verdant of Catacombs, Luris played. I need a stomp for this. Seal of Fire, kills War Boss probably. 
The Chancellor is good for the discard stuff. You're you're correct. That's that and turn one plays. That is your risk here. Watch, we're gonna draw another one. Two Chancellors right here, even with this one down here. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. Well, that kills Luris. They kill one thing here. We'll see if it'll let me make the token. They do. I'm actually going to attack this way so that Luris is like, ah, I block. And then we actually have this goblin for next turn by stomping here. Now, they could seal a fire their own to prevent the bone crusher, but we actually gain a goblin here. So we gain a goblin, which is an extra attacker next turn, which is good for us. Obviously, they can just kill one, but we've got an extra, an extra. Okay, so seal fire takes care of Legion War Boss. I will die to Teamer Battle Rage, guaranteed. Hits me for four. Three blockers. One, two, three. I have one, two, three that goes back to them. I think I just let this happen. If it's Team or Battle Rage here, they hit me for four, making that pretty big, and then it just hits again, which would be rough. Oh gosh, they fetched and shocked. Bolts me, it's a seven, seven, and Team or Battle Rage. If I chump block there, I was going to die anyway. Mad MTG, take care. But good night. Dang it. That was a lot of damage. Why are they so mean? All right, we got to get our 50 play points. We got to make this worth it. We got to make Mr. Jangles and the Red Prison Discord proud of us. So is it weird? I think modern would be better without TBR. Mm. Can you hang on last God by chance? I like to keep the YouTube kind of all together. All right, Zale, you take care. All right, thanks last God. These, these matches are going so fast. We just blaze the path. I'm glancing at it. That's a tough blue splash you got there. Nortana, how's it going? We're trying to punish people. It's not working out, but we've run into burn twice. I'll have some thoughts after this match on ways to improve this. This could be fun. This is kind of fun. <laughs> Let's keep. We're going to do the fun thing that you can do. You can actually declare both of these and then use gemstone to exile a chancellor, but you still get the mana. So now we have one, two, three mana, four. We can play Perforos and then we can follow up with Rabble Master. If there was a reason to stay tuned in and continue to watch this, it's just for this exact moment. All right, we have Amulet here. Can we be faster than Amulet? We get our mana, we get a mana here, we get a mana here. We probably go ahead and... I'm really tempted to just Rabble Master because it's Amulet. And then next turn I can get God of, of uh, Forge down. So Rabble Master here, in for one, and then we'll play God of, of the Forge. And we'll be hopefully good there. Uh-oh. Bonus amulet. Oh, no. Oh, well, it's castle. All right. That's not as scary as, like, a um, bounce land. But I guess I can't replay the bounce land. Explores. Okay. Vesuva. 
Making a copy of Castle. All right, that's, that's scary. Float some mana. Adventurous Impulse. Look at the top three cards of your library. You may reveal a creature or land card from among them. Put that into your hand. Put the rest on the bottom. Reveal, please. Tularia West, okay. Chalice on zero. Timely. Let's go ahead and let's bolt ourselves. We're doing this because the top deck could be a Tor brand. We'll play God of the Forge, Goblin created, two damage to them, swing with the team, pass the turn. This is turn two. What a board state. Down to 11. Woohoo! Extra amulet here. Okay. Plays Teleria West, makes enough mana to castle here. I guess we'll Legion War Boss here. Trigger Perforos, double token. Trigger, trigger Perforos for a total of six damage. And swing with team. Good game. <laughs> that was, <laughs> that was damage. That was so much damage. Season Pyromancer would make an extra, so it'd be another four damage with God. Woo, woo. Oh my gosh. Okay. <sighs> Chalice is okay here. A braid could be worthwhile and the molten ring could be worthwhile. I'm going to ditch Chalice this game, I think. You know what? Let's let's ditch a pair of bone crushers. Let's bring in some molten rings. Let's bring in a couple of braids here. Let's cut one Chalice Let's cut two chalices and let's cut a season pyromancer. Why? Why not? Do you think Evan in exchange for currency would play a league with his client in a non alphabet language? <laughs> Can you even do that last God? And sure, I'm sure he would. We would get very little entertainment on this side. All right, let's look for those fast blood moons. Although a turn two war boss looks cute with the Perforos mulligan this, we got the Magus in here somewhere. Ugh, I want to so bad. Get rid of this. Gemstone, Legion war boss on turn one. Molten rain them. It's not blood moon. We got a, we got a game to burn. We got a game to burn. Let's go. Let's go. Arbor, Molten Rain, the, the duel. Yes, let's just Molten Rain it now. Should we? Land drop. Oh, yeah. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. <laughs> it sets them back and takes two. Have at it. Gives me more time to find a... a, a a, a, a Magus. <laughs> but I was like, where'd my land go? That's right. Get knocked back. <laughs> Good luck. I know we're not putting pressure on my opponent. It's sad. Simic Growth Chamber. My opponent has two mana here. Might need a runner Magus here because they could have a, uh, they could have, what's it called? A Dryad. This is a nice abrade here because if they play Dryad, I'll send just token in and then we can trade it off. It's looking good. Yeah, Dryad. Grove Dryad. Put on blocks, one damage, not two. What is this? Oh, Dismember. The Legend. Dismember block here, much more mana. Oh boy, they got us. <laughs> okay, Dryad of the Why Would You Print This? All right, this is Dryad. It's Tireless Tracker. Oh. Okay. I'm good with that. I can kill that. 
What, are I a blackjack dealer or anything at all before? No. Let's kill a tireless tracker, swing with the team. Why would, why do you think? They did reprint Dismember in the old frame. Do I do something that makes it very blackjack? Black Jackie. Jackie Black. Hitting for three damage here, they're gonna block one of the twos, go down to 11. The Thoughtseize is very pretty as well. I know Evan's disappointed. All right, three mana here, not three mana, three mana, Tireless Tracker. Again, land drop, clue available, could become a three, a four, three. Um, I kind of hate attacking here, but I think we have to. They block. Maybe I just send these in and lose this one, only do one. Block, blocks, hit three, eight. Man. I'm going to play towards a uh, Torbran or a God of the Forge here, but this Tireless Striker is going to get really big. You've seen a few streams that make me think you were one at one point and how you speak sometimes. Nothing bad, just was curious. <laughs> nope, but I like playing Blackjack. I like playing Blackjack. At what point does just being a rule based Arbor Sprawl deck just start to make more sense? It's a good question. It's a good question. Depends on how much you value a turn one Blood Moon or Chalice, probably. Uh, we have the Coithus Red Prison lists that are basically a Ponza list combined with Ponza list combined. So that's probably just better than trying to maybe do this, but maybe not. Extra land here off the Dryad. My opponent's getting their Clue Engine and Tireless Tracker online. We have 6524 to beat. I hit a Magus, which isn't the worst. I think we're working our way up to potentially that Perforos or Torbrand. That's what it's got to be. Avoiding online poker is probably a, a fine decision. I've been to Vegas and they called me out while I was on the tables. I was just trying to be a nice guy. They like, watch this dude. He's doing doing crazy things. Why'd they call me out? Because I split sevens. Literally went split and they're like, you shouldn't do that. I was like, well, I want to. They're like, well, you can't. It's like, I split. And then they were like, manager floor, table, blah, 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 seat this. Splitting sevens. <laughs> They're lucky. Why wouldn't I? <laughs> it was interesting. It was an interesting experience. We have a Primeval Titan. This game's uh, slipping away from us. Extra lands here are much clues. I don't think we can beat this. We can't beat a Primeval Titan. We'll take one more draw here, but if we miss, we'll... Uh, Pack up the bags. Yes. All right. I know that's what they think, Kesko. All right. How do we do this? We're going to be on the play. It's probably just better. Uh, I really don't know. I think we just got to get a little lucky and a little fast. I don't think I changed really too much. I guess I could bring one chalice back in for maybe a bone crusher giant stopping the 
Summoner Pact. All right, we'll keep this. We have a turn to Magus of the Moon, which isn't bad, plus Molten Rain. Not aggressive, though, and we'll have to find some aggression pieces. Uh, Grayus, because it's typically general rules of Blackjack, you would not split sevens because the probability of you busting is, like, higher. But if you suspect the list has lots of low cards, depending on your dealer, you could split sevens with the idea that you would hit and take the lower cards and potentially bust your opponent, uh, your your um, your the dealer. But it it just gets kind of weird and complicated. All right, let's go ahead and ritual out this Magus here. I kind of want to put the Chalice on zero, but I also like the Chalice on one. About to to lose, intending to play blackjack. You went and got a massage instead. It's not a bad idea. I'm gonna try to put the chalice on one later. Chalice on zero is just not necessary right now. Are we dismembering again? Two mana, one mana. Yeah, I've gotten not in trouble. I've gotten in trouble on a roulette table. I've gotten in trouble at two blackjack tables. And I've been in trouble. Actually, I don't think that was a trouble thing. We're going to dismember here. I'm going to Molten Rain. They're green mana. I still don't think I put Chalice on zero yet. We can probably wait one more turn. I got in trouble at a three card poker sub game thing too. You get in trouble for harvesting chips. Two, one, two, three, four, five, six. I could put this on three. You know how bad that would be? <laughs> Let's go ahead and cast this on zero now. They haven't played an amulet. Zero stops. Uh, packed for Dryad and some weird things like that. Double Ritual is not where we want to be. Chalice on three would be hot. Yeah, and then I can't win the game. <laughs> I can't win the game from that. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Ace, that's what they do. They take all your... Take all your money. There's the Dryad. Blood Moon effect wouldn't be bad here. This is looking sketchy though. Oh no. Oh no, Chancellor. Just Chalice and Six, easy. Well, we're, we're getting there. <laughs> Poker's interesting. The concept of the, the deck and the shuffling and all that's really fascinating. I got to see the inside of one of the shufflers while they refilled and fixed the machine. It's kind of a cool thing. So my opponent's just dropping lands here and might just kill me by dropping lands. They do have enough mana here to Titan if they have the Titan. Looking for a Magus. Lands are cool too, though. What's up, Spider? How's it going? How's it going, Spider? I think this one's getting away from us. This is game three, right? Oh, no. No, stop. All right, they didn't need the summoner pack. They get two lands here. Two, a Valakut plus a Vesuva is enough to kill with the Dryad, with a bounce land, yeah. That works. Dang it. Well... We had the Magus plus Molten Rain. That felt pretty solid. My opponent had Dismember both game two and game three. If we had the Blood Moon, perhaps. Perhaps we would have gotten there. That's a 1-4.
Not the best showing for the Punisher list. But let's take a moment here and talk about what ended up happening. So we have Perforous God of the Forge in Torbram. When we had Perforous God of the Forge out and the Rabble Masters, we got a turn three kill. Thumbs up, look great. I think Perforous God of the Forge is still a little bit win more. I think you can play it potentially with Legion War Boss and Rabble Masters if you have a way to stop your opponents from attacking you. A great example of that would be a bridge. Behind the bridge with the God of the Forge and tokens generating, you can win. Now, is that a great idea? You could be behind the bridge and making a bunch of tokens as well, and then you could just swing at some point. So that's why sometimes the God of the Forge a little bit win more. I might want an extra Tor brand instead of God of the Forge. Chancellors, we saw all the pros and cons that come with this card. Definitely no Simeon Spirit Guide replacement. Turn one, great busted turns. Can do it on turn um, one on the play too, where Gemstones of the Caverns is only on the draw. That being said, when you draw this card, you just feel bad. It's no good to have in hand. Doesn't do anything, but maybe gets pitched. We do have a list that we've played where we play as many things to pitch the Chancellor, playing Channelers, playing Season Pyromancers, playing Hazaret, and using those, sometimes it's not as bad if you wanna go a little more all in on your Chancellors. Sideboards really in progress right now, as Mr. Jangles said, and in this league, I would start to argue, bring in some bolts, maybe we don't need the Molten Reigns, maybe we don't need the Relics as much, as soon as I take these out, I'm going to hit Dredge, I'm going to hit some other cards, I'm going to hit Tron, I'm going to hit things that need the Molten Reigns. My best guess right now would be the things you want to keep are probably something like this on the left side and free yourself up with five here on the right. I don't think you need four Relics, cut one. I don't think you need three Molten Reigns, cut one. Chain Whirler, unless you're in a heavy taxes meta, cut two. And a Braid, we can probably cut one. At this point, we have to determine what's beating us. Other aggro lists, so maybe we want something like a Dragon Claw or two. Uh, some more removal could be good. Some more burn to the face. A lot of different ways to go. Depends on the meta. Super wide open meta. Probably just slap four bolts in. At the same time, then you got to ask yourself, why aren't you just playing the bolts? If you move four bolts in, why are you playing Chancellors? At this point, the list kind of crumbles under its own building strategy here. So if we stay with turn two or turn one chalices and turn one this and that with the chancellor, we can't play things like Eidolon for turn two. We can't really bring too many bolts in unless we're happy to swap chalices. <clears throat> it's hard, not impossible, but it, it does get kind of hard to decide what you really need in the sideboard. Maybe a batter skull type of thing, some other life gain, maybe preventing life gain. Those could be things that you could consider. But Red Punisher, very aggressive with the Chancellors. Really do enjoy it. Pretty sweet list. Red Green Prison's probably just better than this if you want to do Prison. Definitely a Punisher list, though.